Number 32 to 34. Hi, I was hired yesterday to work here on the night cleaning staff. Today is my first day. I am not sure who I need to talk to. Oh, welcome to the staff of the Hampton Lodge Hotel. Mr. Carter is in charge of the cleaning staff, but he doesn't come in to work for another hour. I think you are here early. They told me to depart to work at 11 o'clock. Then what should I do in the meantime? I see. Well, normally new employees watch a series of training videos as part of their orientation. Please follow me. Number 35 to 37. Hi, Chris. Our client from Japan, Mr. Takahashi, just arrived at the airport. I'm going to leave in a few minutes to pick him up. Do everything be ready for the meeting once we arrive? Oh, that's so good to hear. I was worried he won't be able to arrive today because of the bad weather. I have just about everything prepared. All I need to do is print out a blueprint for a new prototype. Okay, great. I will call you 30 minutes before we arrive. See you soon in the meeting room. Number 38 to 40. Kevin, did you finish the billboard designed for Frank's Tire Plus yet? They want the advertisement to be up in time for their big sale next week. I was just about to finish it this morning when my computer crashed suddenly. Unfortunately, I lost some of my data, including the work I had done on the billboard design. Oh no, that's a shame. I'll call Frank's Tire Plus and ask for the few more days to complete the design. In the meantime, I hope you can find a solution. Number 41 to 43. Hello, this is Tim Meissen speaking. I live on Maria Street. All the electricity at my house has gone out. I'm very sorry, sir. It looks like a tree fell on the power line and knocked out all the power on the street. Yeah, that's what I expected. Do you know how long it will take to restore the electricity? Because of all the storm damage, our repair teams are behind schedule. In the meantime, I suggest you stay at the family member or friend's house. Number 44 to 46. Hello. I need to send a package to my brother who lives overseas in Germany. What delivery method would be best? Well, it really depends on what you are sending because we are a public post office. We don't offer that many options. Actually, it was my brother's birthday last week, but I forgot, so I'm in a hurry to send it package. Also, what I'm sending is some what? fragile. In that case, I suggest you use a private delivery service. Private com companies provide a larger variety of service and we don't offer. Number 47 to 49. Hi Mr. Wishson. This is Sharon Smith. I was the person interested in buying the used Speedster Sport car that you showed me last week. I checked my financial situation and have decided to do ahead with the purchase. Hi, Miss Smith. Well, unfortunately, we are already showed that car to somebody yesterday. However, I have a similar model that you could look at. The car is used, but is in great shape and just have new tires put on it. Oh, that's too bad that you already show the model. That car had a really good safety rating, which is what I consider most important when buying a car. I see. Well, this similar model also had 5 star safety rating. Why don't you come back this week? You can take a look at it and check it for a test drive. Number 50 to 52. Hello, Judy. Have you got a moment to discuss last week's sales figures? I'm actually on my way to the meeting, but you can ask me something briefly. The sales figures for your branch are much lower than they have ever been. 
the board of directors be pretty upset about it. Is everything okay at our office? Well, not really. There are some problems with my staff at the moment and they aren't working like they used to. There are conflict between some of the staff. I know it's affecting sales figures and it is a serious problem. Really? Do you think we need to find someone? I think that's the only solution. I'm going to see how they do in the next week and I will make a decision. Number 53 to 55. Hello, Mr. Morgan. This is Deborah. We have a bit of a problem. The person that was supposed to give the keynote speech next week is sick. So we need to find a replacement. Would you be able to do it? I'll be out of town for the next four days on business. And when I get back, I'll be quite busy. I see. The board of directors would love to have you do the pitch speech. They really liked it last time you delivered it. Thanks. But I have to pass on it. I just had too much on my plate at the moment. If I had some more time to repair, I would have a consider it. Okay, I understand. I'll let the board know. I hope you have a safe trip. Thanks for understanding, Deborah. Number 56 to 58. Hello. I have a delivery coming soon today, but I won't be at the office all day. Can you schedule to deliver for another day? No problem. If you prefer, we can leave it with someone at your office. That won't work for me. The delivery contains some expensive pieces of art, so I want to personally receive it. That's fine. When would you like it delivered? Before midday would be perfect. Okay, if you would give me your cell phone number, I can have the delivery man call you when he is in your neighborhood. Number 59 to 61. Hi Ruth, hi Rick. Unfortunately, there's going to be a delay on the delivery of your computer equipment. We won't be able to deliver it until tomorrow. We need it that equipment today. We are going to miss some important deadlines with uh, that equipment. If we miss that equipment, we might lose some very important clients. Is there any possible way you can get it to us uh, today? I'm sorry, it's not possible. We haven't received the equipment at our distribution center yet. Okay, I know another supplier who can guarantee same day delivery. I'm going to call them and ask if they can supply us with the equipment. City 2 to City 4. Hi Aaron, how is the painting going? Have you finished most of the work on level 2? No, it's taking longer than we thought it would. We had to have some more paint delivered to the site, so we just start working again. Okay, when you finish on level 2, Please come up to the fourth floor. We need your help to paint the ceiling. We don't have enough ladders. I suggest you bring the list. Three more ladders. There's a lot of work to do done here. Sure. We just have one more coat to put here. And then I will come up and help you finish. Number 65 to 67. Good morning. I need this brown cleaned. I have to attend an award ceremony tomorrow night, and I have only just noticed that there are a bit stain on the back here. I need it cleaned by today. I know your service usually requires two days, but it is but this is emergency. Can you help me? Yes, I can have it ready for you by 9 p.m. It will cost $36. Are you serious? But the price list says it should be $12. Well, yes. But if you need an emergency service, we charge three times the price. I have to delay other people's orders to clean yours, so it costs me some problems. Okay, I understand. That's fine. I'm busy this evening, so I will send my intern to pick it up tonight at 9 p.m. Huh?
her name is Julie. That sounds fine. I'll find a treat by 9 p.m. Number 68 to 70. I apologize for being late, Bruce. The crashing lot on Prinko Street was shut because of the water damage from the recent hurricane. So I couldn't find the parking spot. That's fine. Most of staff is late today because of the crashing lot crosser. Where did you park? Swinton Road? There was a couple of space there, but the sign said I couldn't park there past 8 p.m. I think we will be working late tonight, so I just park on Manzi Street. Oh, that's some smart move. I think Manzi Street parking in 24 hours, so I suggested we have an early dinner and then get this project finished tonight.